Yeah, if it goes off, kiss your ass goodbye, dude. Just made me think of the mask, you know, because the main character in the mask. Did you ever see the mask? Oh yeah, I hate that. The main character, you know, like his name's Stanley Ipkiss, and I still always remember that villain being like, "Or stay here, or you can Ipkiss your ass goodbye." Oh my god! It's like, yeah, this is perfect. His name was meant for that. God, come on. Oh shit! It's so creepy to watch them regenerate. Oh, there we go. Number three, the British pet holocaust of World War II. There are so many horror stories in war that some just get lost in the pile. And that's too bad because often by discussing things in broad heroic strokes, the bombings, the invasions, the city reduced to rubble, you lose sight of the more personal horrors that occurred day to day. For example, during the run up to World War II, oh, careful. Uh, the British government formed the National Air Raid Precautions Animals Committee in 1939 to describe what to do with all their animals once war broke out. The committee's primary concern was food shortages made worse due to people feeding their pets. So to curtail this potential problem, they sent out a pamphlet called Advice to Animal Owners, which came with an advertisement for which specific type of gun. You can see where this is going. Or uh, uh, advertisement for a specific type of gun, which you can see where this is going. The pamphlet advised the population that if they could not send their pets to the countryside, uh, quote, it really is kindest to have them destroyed, end quote. The wording suggests that it was written by an early Dalek prototype. I don't understand that. Uh, how did the British population take this order? With protests across the aisles, surely. Not exactly. Within the course of a week, 750,000 family pets were quote-unquote destroyed. Also, please note that this took place during the summer of 1939, i.e. before Germany invaded Poland, and during a time when the British government could have done a lot more damage to Nazi Germany if they had simply attacked them instead of massacring all family pets and pinning posters for when the Nazis conquered London. Some, uh... Some a little bit of commentary in there, uh, Crack Magazine. Throwing that in there. <laughs> but that is pretty fucking terrifying. I'm gonna say, yeah, so far, neither Ooh, none of these come. have been creepy yeah, to me. Like creepy, like, scary stories. Got a selection of yeah. Of yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think that's scary, then you must think Old Yeller is fucking terrifying. Yeah, Zero. <laughs> Zero is terrifying. Thank these are you. just... What a... Crap list. What are you buying? Fuck you, cracked. You were one. Then do the quote list, quote list, quote list. Now there is. All right, hold on, just a minute. I can't wait any longer. Now there is this uh, a special subreddit called No Sleep, which specializes in unique brand of horror. The subreddit's buying? writers want is to torment you in idiot. your insomnia-addled midnight Thank hours. You. These aren't like cheap scare gags or original works that are so creepy and hit close to home they might as well be real. So, like, the subreddit prides itself on encouraging readers to not just believe what they read, but to question everything. So for a special Halloween treat, they asked what this one article this? writer, asked No Sleep's moderators to select their favorite stories, and is here is what movie? they sent. Thank you. Yes, here we go. Number one, the M Show Fan Club. It's every girl's little dream, or every little girl's dream to be part of a fan club for their favorite TV show. Only when these girls sent for their membership, they got something unexpected in return. They took the children first. They were all so excited that few parents objected. Still, three or four parents came along, and that calmed the rest. The next bus was supposed to arrive within a few minutes to bring everyone to the set. When I heard that, I was when I heard that I was excited like never before. Wait! I ran to the street to look around so I could be the first on the bus. Scarlet followed me. I didn't see the word expression when Brandy's mother talked to mine. I didn't understand why the police came not even an hour later. What? Did you guys follow any of that? I am so bored with these stories, man. <laughs> I am I am I am bored. The thing that sucks is like I don't know, like the beginning doesn't draw me in. I'm not interested in the material of that one. That let's let's move on to something new. We've been doing a lot of scary stories. Let's move on to something new. You're just wanting the movie quotes. And what no, 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 no. Yeah. We can do anything else. We can do anything else. Our Marcus E. Like the, the, the first couple movie scary ones, I was like, yeah, this is cool. But now I'm just like, uh, zoning out. That one out. just didn't even wind up. That one didn't even make sense to me. Like, it's like, how is that your first that one you sent in? On, like, right? I'm like, you come on. It's, I, I figured, like, the internet with its, like, just notoriety for being, like, depraved would fucking just really come up with some scary shit, you know? All that is in porn, my friend. <laughs> All that is in porn. 
All right, Marcus, what did you have? Oh, it's so funny with her driving this big I mean, ass. I was thinking, like, I mean, I found, like, I was still finding, like, nothing, nothing else at the moment. And it's not really any news. Like, I don't know. You should think about doing a podcast, Tom. Why? Because, you know, looking up uh, news stories, that type of thing is very oriented towards podcast. I think you'd be good at podcasting. We have the, we always just wind up. I, th I feel like treating yeah, that's sort of what treating this is. This as, you know, treating this. I mean, this you as could that. you could do all kinds of different things with podcasts, and you can devote it to specifically one topic, research it beforehand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I'm down. Fucking, I'm obsessed with the Ricky Gervais show. Now I'm like podcast, podcast, podcast. When's my podcast gonna is be? Is he? Oh, he's doing that. That's a, the format he's like doing in right now. Well, that's what the Ricky Gervais show was. It was a podcast, and then they animated the podcast. Oh, okay, so there's no live action in that? Well, they animate what's happening when they talk. It's very hard to explain. It's just Carl Pilkington saying weird shit and them animating what he's talking about, basically. This is great. Get the fuck away from me. Drive faster! <laughs> this thing only goes into second gear. Yeah, no, no, now here comes the car. Just in case. <laughs> Jesus, that went up in flames quickly. Yeah, I think you only have to shoot it once. I always shoot it a couple times just for good. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, absolutely. You want to be safe there. I love the like cover commander guy there. Get the fuck off. All right, Dylan. What was the? It was like eleven misquoted movies. Uh -huh. Eleven most misquoted m movies should should get it. It's probably the same list. I heard about it in Corey and Jay a long time ago. But it's just interesting. It's only little differences, but it's just like, whoa, yeah, that's not exactly what they say. There are I have so many song lyrics like that, too. Where you just, like, discover how many people miss your lyrics. The list is mind-blowing, though, because there are some that are so well-known and are said like that every time. Like, like in shit. movies that are quoting them. It's only little differences, but it's like, whoa, that's not what they say. I'm looking right now. Misquoted. I'm leaving it to you. Ah, oh, the 20 most misquoted film lines. Okay, we can go with that one. Let's see. Dirty Harry. What people say. Do you feel lucky, punk? And what the film actually said. I know you're think. I know what you're thinking, punk. You're thinking, did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, I've forgotten myself and all this excitement. But being as this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Yeah, not the same. Yeah. If we're going to get it wrong, why not? Excuse me, sir, but current police guidelines mean that. Yes. Wall Street, what people say, greed is good. Are you kidding me? What the film really shit. said. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed, in all of its forms, greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, is marked the upward surge of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, will not only save Tether Paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. If you see ones that are particularly boring to you, you can skip one. There are some of them I didn't know. Empire Strikes Back. People say, Luke, I am your father. What the film really said, no, I am your father. Fucking hit her with a crossbow. Absolutely well, it's right. Like, it's like, it's kind of, what's interesting about these misquotes, it's like, it's not really a misquote, it's that they... They they cut pieces out of the set. So like yeah, they put it in context where the quote can be understood by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, like with Luke, I am your father. Everyone knows exactly the scene and the point in the film that it's referencing. You know, you can picture it in your head. But the fact that he actually says like, "No, I am your father," is in response to Luke speaking to him. Which, if you're just quoting it by yourself, doesn't make any sense, right? Oh damn! It's just like oh, damn, it's just it. over there beating on Not her. Going well. God. Watch your life. It's so funny. It's over there. Yeah, I mean, she survived it. Fucking this guy with a crossbow. Where's he at? Yeah, these are Tarzan. 
getting really into it here. <laughs> or BuzzFeed's getting super specific on it, and they, they list Apollo 13 as one. The misquote, Houston, we have a problem. Actual movie quote, ah, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Yeah, that was That's true. like, come like, on. Uh, there's there's, there's You're one. just being um, a dick about that. Silence of the Lambs is, is one that I was like, I was kind of like, whoa, he, he never actually says that. I mean, they're all just like little misquotes, but I mean, the, the thing is, they've been misquoted in movies that are making fun of them. Hello, Clarice, and good evening, Clarice. Yeah. Being... Sounds of the Lambs. Man, Sounds of the Lambs are so fucking freaky. Hannibal is not as freaky as Buffalo. They they just made a movie called Buffalo. No, Buffalo. I mean, Hannibal is not as scary as Buffalo Bill. Oh. Yeah, it's so weird to have both of them as villains in that movie. Because... Well, Hannibal's not really. He's just like a third party. He's not really the villain. That's an interesting way of looking at it. But he winds up the villain in the series, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was the villain in the first one and the last one. Now, uh, that's what you talk about a movie scene I'll never forget. It was in Hannibal, the brain-eating scene. Yeah. It's, it's nothing compared to when he rips that guy's face off in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. That's way more stunning to me. I'm like, oh my god, he was using that as a disguise. But to have the guy, like, I mean, he's slowly, like, losing consciousness. He's talking while this is going Hannibal on. Hannibal is... Like, I don't know. He's alright. I just, I like Silence of the Lambs because of Buffalo Bill and how terrified Jodie Foster is when she has to deal with that shit. Well, because yeah, I mean, any... movie-wise, they're leagues different. Hannibal's a sack of shit as a movie, you know? Well, I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about in the movie, to... Silence of oh, the Lambs. Oh, okay. The two characters. characters. Yeah, uh, Hannibal, in the movie, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal is very, um... I, yeah, he's, he's alright, but, I mean, Buffalo Bill... And every cop movie I've ever seen where there's crazy shit going down, the cops are always really brave, and they're just like, yeah, hell yeah, you know, they're taking care of this situation, whatever it is. You know, when dealing with Buffalo Bill, when Jodie Foster finally, oh my god, blows, uh, blows his brains out, you know, and shoots him in the chest. Right next to her! Fucking bullshit. Damn, it's fucking that shit. I just realized that we have the right. Yeah. For, for, yeah. Oh shit! You need to heal, man. Turn around and shoot these guys. <laughs> Slowly chasing. Uh, Jody Foster, man, she looks terrified after she deals with that shit. She's struggling to get the gun back. It's so much more believable. I blew one off and made another. Damn. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Luckily, we had time on that shit. Damn. Such a weird part to the game. To have her... Suddenly capable of driving heavy equipment that most people need. <laughs> yeah, like... Like, special would, licenses for... I wouldn't for. believe Leon could drive that shit, let alone... You know, her... Oh, thank God for the music. Yeah, I hear that Merchant Tone. <laughs> That's a good name for a band. Merchant Tone. Merchant Tone. Merchant Tone. What else you guys got? I feel like we're spacing. I'm, I'm like looking through, like, trying to find out, like, an interesting list. Interesting list. What do you mean, an interesting list? I'm just looking at, like, like lists of interest, like, interesting Welcome. things. Welcome. Interesting. Oh. Did you type in interesting list? Let's see, let's see what comes Pretty up. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> so we've been like marathoning this what are you game, so you gotta keep bouncing the conversation. Uh, you pop up a topic, Dill. Pop up a topic. Uh, how about pop-up books? What was your favorite pop-up book when you were a kid? You know, I really didn't read pop-up books. You don't read pop-up books? I mean, like, they, like, randomly I popped up. You know? yeah. Randomly popped up. We're so. growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Now, come to me, Ashley. <laughs> uh, 
It's already begun. Uh, it's 40 minutes in. Let's go. Keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Power through. Power through. I gotta do, I gotta do it, and then cross her, and then we're, we're pretty much done. Fuck yeah. We've got, we've got a while left to go, but we, we're in the home stretch. Okay, so I got a topic for you then. There we go. There we go. How about childhood? Okay. What were your childhood obsessions? I always like talking about childhood. What were your favorite toys? Okay. What, what toys do you remember? Started from with Ghostbusters. All right. Ghostbusters, and then like. Uh, what did you like it about Ghostbusters? What what? You know, I don't tell your childhood mind about it. And the Ghostbusters fall. Ghostbusters, like, Ghostbusters, like, Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles were the first two things that I was like. I just remember being like ape shit about. Ooh, our plan. This one just straight up says our plan. Uh, Marcus, you want to? I don't know, Dylan, you want to read it? Too bad. Because, <laughs> because of that agent we lost, Chief Mendez and Ramon. Wait, is there... Ramon Salazar? Oh, okay. I just like... It just starts with because. So I was like, is there a page before this? Nevertheless, everything will proceed according to plan. I must admit, however, the loss of my loyal men is a bit disheartening, but I will deal with it. Replacing that loss will not come easy. I must choose wisely, for the Plaga reflects the conscious... The conscience of their hosts. If chosen poorly, they could betray me. I am. Oh, there was a. Go back. I didn't get you, damn it. You didn't. I was going to get you for not letting me read. <laughs> ah. In this most important hour, I cannot and will not have anyone stand in my way, even Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I learned my lesson when Sarah, Sarah betrayed me. I will not make the same mistake again. Here's a picture of the guy who died like halfway oh, <laughs> across yeah, the game damn. ago. Yeah, damn. We documented your face there. He's almost both too. You see, the bottom one is uh, Salazar. Yeah, when I was at your uh, your wedding, by the way, me and me and uh, Sean had a very extensive conversation about. Oh, thank God we're rid of Ashley. About um, yeah, about um, things from from in your childhood or from decades before, generations before that are just so bizarre now that when you go back and watch, you're like. What were we like? How was this even make sense? And like, I feel like Ghostbusters is one of those. Like for me, when I go back and watch that, it's just bizarre. Um, but I was very young when it came. Out. I didn't watch it a lot. But um, like the Mario Brother movie is another one. Like, Mario Brothers movie is yeah. It's, it's just it's like it was. I was the point, the one that it. Sean brought up, it is a very good one. Is Surf Ninjas? Like surf I like ninjas. going back and watching shit that was just or like. Um, the never ending story when you watch that shit it's just like and see like yeah, the never this ending comes story from is a weird because like time. that shit is aimed at like Gen Xers you know what I mean it's, it's just so even weird. like with Willow Willow is one of those ones for me where like I feel it's Willow trip, is like I, I, oh closer oh. what's the news on our friend Leon he's not making it easy the sample Sadler's got it it seems he sniffed out our little game perfect just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 